Hello everyone, my name is Adrian, the director, writer, cinematographer, and editor of the real-life documentary film Batang Bakao or Child of Bakao. It features the life story of Rafael, a 14-year-old Aita, even living in an isolated mountainous parts of the Philippines, a place far from the city with the absence of any cellular signal, no other high technology related recreational activities, as he still considers the place as a paradise. And at a young age, Rafael was able to realize how hard their life situation is, but he still has high hopes and dreams for his family. Well, City of Bacao in Doña Josefa, Alliance City, Nueva Ecija, Philippines, was chosen as a community for about more than 1,000 families rattled by the eruptions of Mount Pinatubo in June 1991. Bacao is within the military reservation of Port Magsaysay and the place is envisioned as the Garden of Eden for the resettled Aitas by the foothills of the Sierra Madre Mountains. I remember back then a couple of years ago when I was working with the Philippines number one news channel where we documented live stories every week and aired it for millions of television viewers from and across the globe. Different stories, places, struggles, but this Batang Bakaw is something special. Rafael is an inspiration to many children of the world nowadays. As of this time, we are in the middle of pandemic because of COVID-19 and many of us were so busy trying to earn a living that we often forget to actually live a life. And we wanted to send this message to the whole world through films, audio and video story connections. We got one camera and attached to it is the Rode Video Mic. We wanted to produce high quality audio record. We used this excellent Rode Video Mic product for location, sound, accuracy and quality. Very versatile road video mic for a huge range of audio, especially when recording nature documentaries. We interviewed Rafael and we got a clear audio story of his inspiring life. And despite the fact that we lost our drone during the shoot of this documentary, we focused more on the real-life content of the story. In addition, we would like to thank the military for helping us during the shoot. And if we win the hearts of the people in this competition, the production team agreed to build a house for Rafael and his family and provide them financial support. Thank you so much My Road Real Competition for letting our short documentary film to be the voice of inspiration to children of the world.